<clears throat> Hello Libra, what's going on? I hope you're well. This is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a messages from your person slash what's going on with your person for the end of June uh, and the beginning of July but it's timeless Libra so whenever you happen to get it is when you were meant to get it. Um, thank you so much for checking out the reading. <clears throat> you're so welcome here and if you find it resonates with you don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. So I'm going to start by pulling some uh, love oracle messages. The decks have already been shuffled. Okay, I've already done them. Wow. <clears throat> so you have Keep the Spark. So lots of chemistry between you guys. Okay, you have Commitment. Beautiful energy to start the reading, Libra. So you have Commitment and Keep the Spark. So your person's thinking long term with you here, Libra. There's a lot of energy between you both, a lot of chemistry. Uh, what else for Libra, please? Oh my god. Love walk, very nice. So this person could be thinking about kind of um daydreaming about going on long walks with you and stuff like this, but also the love walk is kind of going on that journey together. You know what I mean? Entering into a commitment, going on that journey together. And that's really, this is quite an eternal thing you guys have going on here, you know what I mean? Because this is really a couple kind of walking off into the sunset together, really. You know what I mean? Um, and let's get one more. One more for Libra, please. Holiday. So this person might want to go on a, like a journey with you Libra here, they might be planning something. Um, they might just think that you guys need a holiday. You know what I mean? This might be something that they have in their works that you don't know about yet. And you have love is in the air. Oh, so sweet Libra, so sweet. So let's see what comes out in your tarot. Um, so these have already been shuffled as well, okay. So what would really oh my god, if I can actually get the words out. What would Libra's person like them to know, please? Messages from Libra's person. That's quite a lot of spirit. What would Libra's person like them to know, please? Queen of Pentacles, okay. Oh, Six of Cups, Six of Wands, <clears throat> the Moon, Eight of Wands, wow, okay, this person is serious about you Libra, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, um, they're really seeing you as someone like the whole package here, you know, you have the Queen of Pentacles here with the Six of Cups. You are the person that they want to give their heart to, Libra. You know, that Queen of Pentacles energy, um, there could already be children involved here. Like you, could have, you, like, you could have already had this person's child or like you could be pregnant by them. Um, but there's, there's like that Queen of Pentacles energy is kind of, it's just someone that like, a, you know, someone that really has it all, you know what I mean? Someone that's very nurturing, someone that has like a good balance between kind of compassion and like balancing money. Um, and then with the Six of Cups here, um, this is really wanting to give their heart to you. <coughs> Excuse me, Libra, because knowing that you're going to take care of it. See how she's kind of nurturing that pentacle there. Um, so they're, you know, this person is becoming more and more willing to give their heart to you, Libra, because they know you're going to take care of it, you know, they know you're not going to stomp all over it. Um, they might have had a little bit of subconscious fears going on here. You have the moon card with the six of wands. So, <clears throat> you know, that moon card can be like a little bit of subconscious fears, anxieties, kind of confusion. Um, this person might have been a little confused about things or they may just have had you know they, they may have had something in their past here um that they were moving past you know this person might be quite used to being independent or something of this nature um but they're they're getting past that you know whatever these subconscious fears are there's a victory here 
<clears throat> and they really they really want to talk to you with that eight of wands like if you guys are in in incommunicado at the moment you can expect conversation pretty soon i think and it's going to be something quite serious you know they want to talk long term with you here there's a lot of earthy energy in this you know um that ten of pentacles is like it's like something long term they want to discuss with you you know like you know, like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. There might even be like a discussion about moving in together or um, there might be something, again, like something about the children here. Like if you guys have children or if there's children involved, there might be some kind of conversation about moving forward with the children. Um, but you know, that Ten of Pentacles is a commitment card. Why is the Queen of Wands here, please? So there's been some kind of delay here, um, why is the Queen of Wands there, please? <clears throat> so there's, like, this person may, like, they're carrying some kind of burden, or they have been, um, and I feel the delay that you've been experiencing here is because one or both of you is too used to being independent. You know what I mean? Too used to it because you have this Queen of Wands here and the Chariot card. And you have the Seven of Pentacles with the Hanged Man, right? Which are both cards of delay. <coughs> Excuse me, that Seven of Pentacles. Oh my God. <coughs> Excuse me, that Seven of Pentacles is like kind of a period of reflection and assessment. You know what I mean? Like, it's not an end, it's a bit of a delay because it's like somebody, and you know, with the hanged man as well, it's like a period of kind of deliberation. And I feel it's because, like I say, one or more, you or them, have kind of been used to being single for so long. Um, because of some something that's, some something went kind of pear-shaped for this person or for yourself in the past. And they've kind of had to, this could be you actually, because um, also this Queen of Pentacles energy is someone who has had, she's often called the single mother of the deck, you know, um, because it's someone, and it can be male or female, don't bite my head off <laughs> in the comments, thank you, um, you know, it can be some, it's someone who's kind of been independent for a while, right, because they've had to be. You know, so it's it's that kind of independent mother or independent father energy. Um, yeah, okay. So the, this person might have been single for a while, like I said. So what is this person's intentions towards Libra, please? Okay, wow. Very nice. So they really want a new beginning with you here. You can expect communication pretty soon, I think, Libra, because you have the Ace of Wands here with the Ace of Pentacles. So they fully intend on coming in with some kind of new offer here. You know, some kind of um, some kind of new beginning. There's quite a lot about ch like children in this reading, okay? And you know, if it doesn't you know, take it as it resonates, right? Not, it's not, not going to apply to everyone, but like this person might be quite interested in like having children with you, or like like I say, there might like already be a child involved, but they really, really, they're going to be coming in with a new beginning here, or this is really what they intend for you, um, for the relationship. Um, tell me about the outcome, please. Hierophant for your, it's the Hierophant for your outcome, guys. So the Hierophant, um, that's a beautiful card. Let's clarify it. Why is the Hierophant here, please? Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's looking like your divine counterpart here, Libra. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. So this is kind of looking like a soulmate, um, divine counterpart type connection here. Like, this is literally, you guys found each other, like you found your other half, <laughs> like you found the one that you were supposed to be with here. Um, and that Hierophant card is a card of commitment, you know. This person's going to come in with like a pretty serious offer here, you know, you have, you have commitment here, you have um, 
love walk you know you have holiday here like they might come in and offer you some kind of like they might want to go away with you or something like this but this is going to be something long term they want here um and one more card please clarify that higher fruit for me please nice so i think they're going to come they might actually offer you some kind of if i can get that to focus some kind of holiday here, Libra, like some kind of movement here. There's going to be commitment and they might want you to like, it might be something as simple as like going away for a weekend or like, um, I don't know, going on a picnic or something like this to talk. But there's there's going to be like a, an offer here of commitment here. They might want you to, like I said, there might be some kind of travel involved here, like going away on a wee holiday or something like that together. Um, But yeah, with that Hierophant card, like this is going to... <laughs> the High Priestess and the Hierophant, this is this is going to be a commitment guys, like you found the one that you were looking for, they found you, you found them, um, yeah, they're ready to not be single anymore Libra, so yeah, I'm going to leave your reading there, um, camera's just turned to 11, 11, I'm going to leave it there Libra, and one last thing, you have the Strength card at the bottom of the deck here, so this is going to be a very, um, uh, or the, yeah, the lust card this is going to be a very strong relationship here like something built on honesty something built on a very strong foundation here so if there has been a wee delay like it's going to be worth it in the long run you know what i mean because this with the strength card here this is like a very strong relationship like you're never going to have to question where you are with this person and vice versa like you guys want the same things um yeah I also just want to say that two of wands can be moving in together as well because it's like like there could be sometimes that indicates like moving next to water or like a wee trip over water or something like that but anyway um i'll leave it there libra i hope you enjoyed your reading it was a pleasure to read for you thank you so much for being here and don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that and uh you know don't be a stranger come back and see me soon <laughs> uh bye